Uh, Anthony Davis. Let's get straight to it. Anthony Davis is potentially a week away from returning to the Lakers, the, the lineup. Um, you know, this would be great, you know. I'm tired of, you know, losing certain games, you know. Because the Lakers, they compete. I can't lie. It's just They just sell at the end. Or, like, just either that or they're just going to get murked in one game, you know what I'm saying? But they actually be in games most of the time. You know, sometimes they play good. They have stretches where they play good. They have stretches where they play ass. I hope, Anthony Davis, you could come in and uh, help us win. You know, let's go on a quick little five game, get to 500. You know, maybe you could lose one game and then you go on like a, you know, another like six, seven game, you know, right? Come on, Lakers, let's go. We got this. Yay, yay. I want to believe that. But the Lakers just fill you with pain, agony. Anthony Davis is probably going to miss a big free throw at the end of the game again. It's like, damn. All we can do is pray and hope, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm tired of this shit, man. I can't, like, me and Brian, we can't take this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't keep losing, you know? It's painful, my nigga. It, it hurts, it hurts, you know? Like, you see LeBron complaining about the refs, which have been bad. It's just like, it's just, it's pain, my nigga. Help us, AD. But another news, the Lakers have been pushing to acquire Cam Reddish. That's actually great. I know the, the Knicks only want, like, second-round picks. I don't know how this shit didn't already have it, you know what I'm saying? Maybe another team's trying to give something else. I have no idea. Please, just let it happen. Oh, my God. Please. I feel like Cam Rush could hit some shots. Obviously, he could get his own shot off if if needed to be. But, you know, obviously, and Cam Rush could play some defense as, as well. That'd be cool to see. Maybe, you know, he might bust, but, whoa, that almost sounded gay. I was going to say bust off. He might pop off like a, well, I think if he goes to his own team, he could be like a lorry market and pop off. Not like quite that level, but actually like be great for him. But it had the dupes. Chester Swinslow reveals he drank heavily and passed through women after struggling to stay healthy with Miami. My nigga, I can't blame you. I don't know about the alcohol part. You know, I'm not a, you know what I mean? But. The woman, she, nigga, you're in Miami. <laughs> I'd be fucking bitches every day if I was an NBA player in Miami. You realize how much of a glitch you are? All the strippers, the whores who are in Miami, bad bitches, and you're in a, you're an NBA player. You got the height, the money. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> I'd be a rough nigga out there, man. But other than that, I'm going to catch you next one.